The second area is to continue to invest and double down on our investments in research, innovation and enterprise. We will finalise our investments from 2026 to 2030 later this year. But let me share two major new initiatives that we are working on for RIE 2030. The first initiative is Applied AI. I think Mr Henry Quack made a good speech yesterday on the importance on the use of uh, AI. So our first initiative on Applied AI includes applying AI to major use cases in priority sectors such as healthcare, education, finance, advanced manufacturing, connectivity, logistics and transport. Now we have started on this. In October last year, we launched a $120 million AI for Science initiative to support researchers in leveraging AI to accelerate discoveries in fields such as advanced materials and biomedical sciences. Applied AI sits at the intersection of AI and domain knowledge, building on the strong domain expertise of our practitioners and researchers in healthcare, education, finance, engineering, and many others, we will invest more in developing bilingual scientific talents, researchers who can bridge between AI technologies and domain expertise. Now, the second new initiative is the development of new large-scale cross-cutting R&D programs called flagships and grand challenges to achieve greater impact. RIE flagships will push for value creation in key economic sectors. And RIE Grand Challenges will address the national strategic priorities. These flagships and Grand Challenges will pull together relevant research and translational capabilities across our universities, ASTAR, and other research institutes, public agencies, and private sector players to form a suite of purposefully coordinated and synergistic programs. The linkages between research, translation and commercialization will be tightened to advance key economic areas, produce new products and companies and address real world needs and problems. I'm pleased that work has started to scope and design these initiatives. The first grand challenge proposes to address the opportunities and challenges of healthy and successful longevity. And the first flagship will be focused on advancing our semiconductor and microelectronics R&D. We will announce more details later. 